we've got to make sure that we you know, stick to our details and do the things that we, we talk about doing. You know, obviously it starts with just putting bodies in front of the line, making things as difficult as possible for him. Yeah, he talks about LeBron and the minutes he's playing and what he's done in these playoffs. His basketball IQ obviously is through the roof. Is that one of the biggest attributes he has? Uh, yeah, I mean, dude is uh, dude's great, man. Um, I think his, uh, his ability to control the game, perform even when he knows um, everybody's gearing up to stop him. You know, guys on the floor are concentrating on him. Uh, I think not so much his physical ability, but his IQ does get into those moments where he's got to outthink him. He knows the team is schemed against him, players are gearing up for him, and he's still able to, to impose himself and, and be uh, super productive. So his ability to think the game is probably up there with uh, the all-time great. David, can you put perspective on just how hard it is to get here one time, let alone four straight spots as these two times have? Uh, I mean, you know, you've got to, everything just, I mean, everything almost has to you know, be perfect, you know. Um, I think, uh, obviously, teams who maintain health throughout the year can you know, do it. And usually, have the best shot at this, this stage. But, you know, personnel, focus, team, going through the December, January, February months, um, all of that stuff, you got to come out of that, you know, all of that unscathed in order to have a shot at this. And, um, I think for a lot of our young guys, you know, this is all they know. I think this is Loon's fourth, I think Loon's third. I think all he knows is the final third. All he knows is the final deep playoff run. So um, it's something that you can't take for granted. Something that, again, almost, I mean, things just have to be so, so right, so perfect. Just to get here, so it's a tough, tough thing. David, this is the first time in American sports history where the same teams have met four consecutive years. Can you just talk about the part of history of the two teams meeting up consecutively? Uh, yeah, that's great. I didn't know that. Uh, in all the sports, you said? In the four major American really? sports, yeah. That's pretty tough. Um, again, it's just it's tough to get to this point. Uh, so there's some consistency there, obviously, and franchises ability to keep guys prepared guys focused you know like I said it's just it's one of the more tougher things to do just to get to this stage you know, I think it's a testament you know obviously to the talent you know that you know, that's a big deal uh, but just the way that these organizations out you know handle themselves and, and keep uh, keep the group together and focused on that that end game David personally for you this is your swan song last you know your career how excited are you for this series um no, it should be uh, should be uh, should be fun. It should be a tough series. Um, obviously, two great teams. Um, we just have to see again who can grab momentum. You know, who has the uh, who has the greater energy, the greater focus. And when you're, what do you think your role will be throughout the series? Oh, I don't know. You know we'll see. Um, obviously, it'll be a physical series. Um, we just have to see. I want to go back to Game Five after uh, last year's Finals. And one of my favorite memories was just how excited you were after the win championship. Do you reflect back on that at all, or are you able to sort of, you know, think back how great that felt and how much you? Uh, yeah, I think about it a little bit. Uh, but again, it's a totally different ball game, totally different year this year. Um, I think last year was a lot of uh, a lot of pressure just because you know the team came together for that so bold. And this year we probably had a little bit more adversity in terms of. Um, and some of the stuff we've had to deal with internally, uh, we're just getting through. These guys have been going through this for a long time, and it's a grind. And it can, you know, mentally at times it can be fatiguing. But um, the opportunity for us to be back here, I think we faced probably more, uh, like I said, more challenges throughout the year. Teams were more designed to beat us. Uh, teams were taking a little bit more down in, working on ways. To Sort of finally cracking their armor. We got him. David, I think you came 